Alright, I'm now in the science lab of Vault 106. And in the previous video, I was in the living quarters. Hey! Alright, I can't let him get away. Yeah, so when I first came into the living quarters of Vault 106, I noticed that the door was locked. And that does seem a bit suspicious because that's made me think maybe the overseer or some of the vault dwellers have tried to hide something down here. I'm not sure if they are hiding something, but you know, I'm just got to investigate what happened to this vault. It does seem like pretty much every vault has been using experiments on the dwellers. Just the overseers are in charge of the residents and like like the uh, power supply and the food storage. Yeah, and I'm not really sure what's causing these hallucinations, but it's probably linked to the vault residents going like insane. Anybody there? Yeah, looks like there's more of them. Where? I'm not sure how big the science labs ac actually are. But this does seem like quite a big vault. A bit like Vault 87. Vault 87 did feel like quite a big vault, but probably because it was also connected to a cave system known as Little Lamplight. Yeah, just I heard the entrance is flooded with radiation, so you know there's not really any way of getting in there. So that's why I needed to take a different route to get inside. Alright, I don't know how deep down this goes. Time to tear you apart. Kick ass. Is that uh -huh. Alright, it's another hallucination. Oh wait, it's the bullies from Vault 101. Yeah, Butch and his gang. It's go time. Yeah, they kind of bullied the main protagonist when he was a kid. But I actually met but uh, Butch again when I returned to Vault 101 and he seemed to be a bit kinder this time. I don't know if he's still in Vault 101 but I do remember killing the Overseer because he was kind of not giving the dwellers any freedom. Yeah, I guess this must be as far down as it goes. Yeah, so this this looks like an explosion has occurred. So I don't know if people 
if people have been like trapped down here. Yeah, there's a mini nuke, so I don't know if people have tried to blow the way out of the vault. Just that's what it looks like with this. Yeah, like this small cave system. Yeah, some people might have been locked in the science labs and, you know, they might have had no way to escape. So some of them might have been used as test subjects. I don't, well, I really don't know, but that's what I think has happened. All right, so, uh, well, I think that's pretty much all the vault that I've seen, but there's also the overseer's office, which I haven't been to yet, so I'm gonna go there. But yeah, that's, that seems to be what it looks like. That people have tried to escape, you know, especially if the door was locked. You know, people must have been trapped down here. If only there was a time machine to go back and see what happened in the past. Alright, so we've got to head back upstairs. Alright, I don't think we can really climb from there, so I'll have to use the stairs. Well, we might even find the overseer's dead body. Just, you know, he could have died in his office. It's strange to think that quite a few people have survived in here for like two whole centuries. Right, hope I can get this open. That's the Vault 101 Overseer. Yeah, that was another hallucination. Yeah, it seems like all the other vaults in the wasteland have fell apart though. And I'm not really sure how Vault 101 is doing, but I'm not really allowed to go back. But it had been chaos since I left. The people who were trapped in here must have felt like their life had been taken away from them. Yeah, so I think I've seen everything in this vault so I'm gonna leave now and I'll prepare for the Deathclaw Sanctuary just that's another location I'd like to go to and then I'll continue on with the main Broken Steel DLC quest <laughs>